so much for joining me today. Um, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss my videos. Um, if you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate your support. Um, but so for today, as you can tell by the title, I'm just going to be showing you how I'm going to revive my hair. Y'all. So normally when I do my hair, you know, after I do my wash day throughout the week, I seal my ends and, you know, um, moisturize my hair throughout the week. I did it Monday. I washed my hair on Sunday. I did seal my ends and moisturize and everything on Monday. And that was it. Today is Saturday. All week, I don't went without doing nothing to my head. Without, you know, well, as far as moisturizing it. First, I had twisting. Then I took those out and wore a twist out. Then I had put it up like this the other day. Just a um, little bun up top with the bangs. And I had my head wrap on. And this is what my hair is looking like. I don't know what it's looking like on camera. It's looking okay, but... If you could feel it, she's pretty dry. That's a problem. So I'm just gonna show you guys my deep conditioner that, well, one of, I always, I do different recipes, but I'm gonna show you one of my deep conditioner recipes, which is actually gonna be a gloss. Um, but I'm gonna show you what I use just to put some moisture back into my hair, bring this baby back to life. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So let me just go ahead and show you how I make that. I know you can see my ingredients that I have in the background, but I'm gonna show you how I make that. And then I'm going to wash my hair, put that on and everything and show you the final results. So let's go ahead and get to mixing up. <laughs> mixing it up finally got it pretty smooth this is what it's looking like Look at that. yes that mucilage yes that's really good this is really gonna hydrate your hair 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth for the most part. Got a few clumps left in it still, but it's just the clumps from the deep conditioner. It's all right, when I get to it, I just kind of squeeze it and mash it into my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna go hop in the shower now, wash my hair, and I'll be back to show you how I apply it. All right, y'all, so I'm back. I have washed my hair. Um, I do not have any like conditioner or anything in my hair. I did a hair, um, one of my hair tea mixes that I made, I put it on my hair and I just put this on just to one, let it absorb into my hair and two, so that my hair doesn't dry out before getting to do my deep conditioner. So now I'm just gonna show you all how I apply my deep conditioner. Of course this already, my hair is already in four sections. Um, I have my spray bottle here just to cake with some warm water. It's actually pretty hot, but it, you know, it's just hot water out the sink. Um, just in case my hair starts to dry out, I can spray it. Cause I like for it to be wet. I'm gonna start in this back left section, of course. So I, where I always start for some reason. But yeah. This is my hair. So I'm just gonna section that section off. <laughs> Put that up there. Get it on up my way. My head is already detangled and everything is feeling good. But yeah, so all you do is just, you know, section it off, apply it to um, each section. So I just have some here in my hand. Just gonna put that on top of my hair. Like I said, apply it to your scalp also. Start from the roots, work your way down. coat that hair really nicely with it. And make sure you pay real close attention to your ends. Get the, you know, of course, you know, that's the oldest part is your uh, part of your hair. So you want to make sure that that part, your, um, your ends are good and moisturized. Yeah, so that's all you do. This is what it's looking like on my hair. And you know, just repeat it to each section. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do, just finish my head and then I will be back. All right, so I have finished applying it to my whole head now. Um, I did use it all, had to scrape the bowl cause it really wasn't enough. So I kind of had to stretch it, but yeah, this is, it here um, so what I'm gonna do now is put this cap back on let's see if I can okay so and when you're applying it of course like I said make sure you pay close uh, Pay attention to your ends, get those coated really good. Also do your edges, like just make sure you coat every strand completely. Do your scalp and everything. Got some on my ear. So with that, then I'm gonna put this on. This is, like I said, is a rechargeable heat cap. I actually run, run, won this in a giveaway and I was so excited cause I was gonna buy one, one of the flax seeds one that you put in the microwave. Then I saw this giveaway and I was like, hold on, let me wait and see if I win. And I did. And then you just press and hold it. Can't even tell if it's on or not. There you go, press and hold it till it comes on. Now it's red, red, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but Red is high and it has medium and low settings and it's gonna get warm and I can walk around the house and do whatever I wanna do. I may never sit on the dryer ever again. But yeah, this is a nice little heat cap. It's from um, All Natural Glow, I believe that's the company that make it. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go. I'll probably sit with this. I know for at least 30 minutes to an hour. And who you know, when you get to doing stuff, you may forget. But yeah, I'm gonna sit, come back, rinse it out, and then well, I'll probably do a co-wash to wash it out, and then I'll be back. So back I went got back in the shower. I did a co-wash to rinse it out. Whenever I use powders in my um deep conditioner, I use a co-wash to rinse it out. If it's just like a regular dish, deep conditioner, I just rinse it out. But to assure that I get all of the powders out, co-wash is the way to go. Um, I just have leave-in conditioner in my hair now. Let's see. And y'all, it's just feeling so soft. Get it. Wish y'all could feel it. I know it's still wet, but I'm probably about to do, I don't know, I want to do a wash and go because I miss, miss my wash and go. I haven't had one and I haven't did one in over a month. I know it's been probably about two months, really. Alrighty, so just let me know how you like this video. Let me know if you want, if you're going to try this recipe or not. Um, I promise you that it's definitely very moisturizing for your hair. If you ever neglect your hair and it gets really dry, you need to add that moisture back in. This deep conditioner is the way to go because of that Shea Moisture Intensive Hydration um, deep conditioner along with the melted shea butter, castor oil. Like There's just a bunch of very hydrating ingredients in this deep conditioner so thank you again so much for watching make sure you hit that like button make sure you comment down below hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell um thank you again and see you next time <laughs>